officially rolling. We are. I'm, I'm, I'm weirdly nervous. <laughs> I am too. Don't oh, worry. Okay. It's it's mutual. Oh, mutual great, nervousness. Great. Awesome. Let's. We'll get through this together. Okay. Um, I just gotta keep asking you questions. So, okay. have you ever been turned into a GIF? Just I have to ask. I have once once been turned into a GIF. Mm-hmm. GIF. <laughs> I've been once. I was doing an interview for uh, the booktuber. Uh, Tiernan, and uh, I gave an answer to a question where I was trying to guess the YA book based on a, a YA movie with stills from a fragment of the scene of the movie, and there was one, the answer I ended up getting, um, but it was a, a shot of Finnick O'Dare from The Hunger Games, but it was just like his sort of chest area, and it took me about two minutes where I was looking at this gif going, I should know this, I should know this, I never forget a nipple. And there is a gif of me now on the internet going, I never forget a nipple. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for that amazing story. <laughs> you're, you're very welcome. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, what should I ask you? I don't know. You have lots of, you're a very interesting person. It's true. Um, What was your idea for your latest book, and like, what made you think of it? Mm -hmm. uh, my latest book, The Wild Ones, is a middle grade uh, talking animal fantasy series, and, series, and it's a with the, with the raccoons exactly. And I, I basically got attacked by two raccoons in my backyard, and I thought, oh, I'll make a story about them. But I wanted them to be the heroes, and my dog at, always growls and, and sort of snarls at the raccoons in the yard through the window. He really hates them. So I thought, oh, he'll be the villain. So it became a story of wild alley animals uh, based in the alleys in Brooklyn, New York, uh, versus spoiled evil house pets. Uh, so the house, house pets want to get rid of these dirty wild animals who live in the alleyways while the cushy house pets want to, to destroy them. Um, it's like, you know, they're the 1%. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a, a follow-up question. I have a follow-up answer. Um, so... When you were attacked by raccoons, what made you think that they were going to be the heroes instead of the villains? Like, if I was attacked by raccoons and I was going to write a book about them, I would say, like, raccoons are the villains. Right? I but that's what a normal, a normal person would think that. Uh, uh, I, uh, I didn't know I was being attacked at the time. They came out, I was standing in the yard, and they, they came out of a tree stump, these two raccoons, and one of them came towards me and kind of stood up on his, on his back paws and, like, raised a paw at me and like looked at me and I thought he was waving. I thought we were like friends, so I kind of just froze and stared at him and felt like we were bonding, like, raccoon, you are my friend. And the raccoon was like, and then uh, it turns out I only later learned that the raccoon was threatening me, that this gesture was not him saying, hey buddy, but was actually the raccoon saying, get out of my turf, this is my yard. So it was an after the fact I learned I'd been attacked. I thought I was bonding and I was like, king of the beasts. So I thought I was writing about brave, kind, friendly raccoons, but they turned out to be evil. Not evil, vicious. Uh, and my heroes of the wild ones, they're still brave and kind, but they are also sneaky and strong. Okay, that's a good answer. <laughs> All right, well, I'm getting a cue that I should tell you about my Instagram. It's called uh, Raccoon Army. <laughs> so um, I have a little story about that because I was in Miami, and we were, like, walking around, and we saw this giant tree, and on the tree there were, like, hundreds of raccoons just on the tree, on all the branches, and it was crazy. That's terrifying. Yeah, and but we just stood. We just stood Bring there. An army. Yeah. Bring it. I know they were. They weren't even really doing anything to us. They were just. As far as you know. As far as I know, maybe they were attacking us. Right. This is the yeah. thing. Yeah. They. This is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> would, would not have ended well for you. Yeah. <laughs> All just waving at us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. All right. So my last question to you. What is your favorite jingle, and can you please sing it? All right. Um, like an advertising jingle? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, when I was uh, in high school, I was an exchange student in Germany. So it's actually a German advertising jingle. Uh, 
cats in clo, cats in clo, cat mach die cats a fro. And what that means is cat toilet, cat toilet makes the cat to cats happy. Uh, and it's an ad for kitty litter in, in Germany. Cats and clo, cats, it's always in my head. Always. Like, walk up to me at any time and be like, what's in your head? And be like, oh, it's the cats and clo th theme. I don't even like cats, but cat toilet, cat toilet makes the cats happy. That's my song. Oh, okay. that's a little random, but... <laughs> Okay, thanks for him. <laughs> yeah, you know, thank, thank you. <laughs> it was a pleasure. <laughs>